If you're familiar with my textbook and other materials, you already know that flowcharts are a common fixture in my curriculum and instructor's guide materials. So I thought I'd share a brief message about flowchart shapes and protocols. In my textbook, you're probably familiar with this flowchart, which contains three common shapes. The terminator, which either starts or stops a process. Then there's the process shapes, which illustrates what it is you do at that stage in the flowchart. Then there is this decision shape, which invites you to make a decision and then goes one way or the other based on the answer to the question in the shape. And if you go to pages 64 and 65 in the textbook, you'll also see this shape. This is a page connector. This shape indicates that a flowchart continues on a different page, and the page number is usually indicated inside the circle. Some flowcharts also include annotations, which elaborate on that particular step of a process. There are a variety of different shapes that flowcharts can use. I use some of the most common ones. Flowcharts are sequential and methodical, and they help to diagnose and zero in on a problem. I hope you found this helpful. I enjoy sharing information just like this with you.